So here's my Gord Banjo number 11, ready to go up for sale. It's a, <clears throat> it's based on a design that I've done before that I really liked. So it's a beach neck reclaimed, reclaimed beach wood that I got. It's got a bow coat fingerboard and also bow coat side dots at the, at the third, at the uh, third, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth frets. So you don't have a, you don't have a dot at every fret, but you got kind of enough that you can. You can play songs kind of up the neck pretty well with this, with those dots, and also it's got pretty low action. And I've got this slightly coffee stained, so it's a little darker, um, goat skin hide. It's a uh, very tight on there. And uh, yeah. It's a great banjo, super fun. I've been... Yeah, I've been playing it the last few days, really liking it. <clears throat> I've got this um, sort of old, older style tailpiece on it, which I don't do as much, but I think it fits the look of this banjo better than having one of the tail pieces that slides on the on the, the end of the dowel stick. Um, this is a nylon rope, which I had it, I had a, a jute rope in there and it broke on me. So I just put a, a stronger nylon one in or, or a poly, whatever. Um, you know what I mean. Um, it didn't look that good, but then I stained it with coffee and I, I like the look of it now. It kind of tricks you that it's a, it looks a little older than it really is. So I, I guess I kind of just aged it a little bit. But yeah, other than that, oh yeah, the um, tuning pegs, these are, these are hand, all hand carved tuning pegs that I did. I've been, I've been carving my own tuning pegs now instead of buying the violin pegs, <clears throat> which I, uh, both work just as pretty much equally as well, but these kind of give it a more, uh, unique look to it and a more custom sort of touch. So I really like doing the tuning pegs by hand, even though I'm not a very good whittler or carver, so they come out a little You'll see in the close-ups, you know, they're very, they're very clearly hand carved, but I kind of like the look of them. And they're also made out of beach. Great for claw hammer, it's got the giant frillin scoop here. So it's really great for claw hammer, but also great for two finger, especially the picking nice and close to the bridge. It comes out really nice and, and crisp on this. And um, I've got it tuned right now to a pretty low tuning. It's much lower than it's, uh, I don't know exactly how many steps or whatever, but it's, um, so usually when I make a, this is a 26 and a 
quarter inch scale, so it's, it's the standard scale length. Um, when I make one that's the standard scale length, I'll usually keep it tuned around FCFAC, which is a half step lower than standard tuning. Um, <clears throat> this one I have tuned even lower than that, so it's like uh, D, D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, G, well this is G sharp now, but then, um, but yeah, it's tuned even lower, and I just found tooling around with this banjo, it just seems to, it seems to kind of come alive a little more in that lower tuning. It, it sounds great, and it sounds great, um, in standard in an FCFAC, but for whatever reason, this one really, I think, is at its best when it's in the lower tune. But yeah, I mean, hope somebody hope somebody picks this up and enjoys it. I've been playing it like a week now, and lo I'm loving it. So yeah, hope someone hope someone enjoys it.